Hey everyone and welcome to another video. Today I have a massive, massive haul for you guys. This might not interest everyone but this is going to be an Ikea and Costco haul. So lots of home items and um, like I said might not interest everyone but I am very easily excited by homeware and food and just I love Costco and Ikea, especially Ikea. Um, I never go to Costco because I don't have a membership card but my friend who I went shopping with today has a car and a Costco card so obviously I spent lots of money um, and obviously bought a lot because she had a car so I didn't have to carry it on the bus. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of stuff to get through. So I'm going to get right on into it. Just a disclaimer, bought it all with my own money. Yes, I spent far too much money on homeware that I probably didn't need, some things I did need. But yeah, let's get started. So first of all, we went to Ikea. That was where we were going. Um, I hadn't seen my friend for a while. We wanted to meet up for a coffee. We decided to make two trips in one, basically. Go for lunch and a coffee. I have an Ikea card, so free tea and coffee for Ikea family card members. And um, so we went and had our lunch and then we started shopping. <laughs> So I had a couple of things on my list like lampshades, a new picture frame thing, some plants and accessories for my girlfriend. So the first thing I picked up were some lampshades. Um, I got this Nymo lampshade for my girlfriend. So this is like a red kind of metally color um, and it's got a gold inside so it like shines the light back. I got lots of accessories in red color for her new bedroom in her new house um, because she has a mandala print tapestry thing that's red and black so I thought I would go with red um, and black accessories. So yeah I got this little lampshade for her room so that'll look really awesome. I think she'll really like that. Along with that I also got a massive fleece throw. This is so soft. It is absolutely huge. It's to cover a full double bed. It's just huge and again in a kind of deep red colour. This is going to be so comfy to sleep with. Um, so I'm very jealous because I don't have one for myself but I also have 101 fleece blankets of my own so I don't need another one. For my girlfriend she also asked me to pick up a plant um, so I got this one again in a kind of dark red colour. This one was the nicest although slightly squint. Um, it was kind of like red and like goes from this black into this red at the top. I thought that would be really cool in her bedroom. And then I also got this really cool like I don't know if this is like an iron pot metal pot um, in this kind of grey colour but I just thought it went with this plant very well and goes with the black and red theme that I went for for picking up some things for her room she didn't ask me to get red and black theme she just said if you see anything nice feel free to get it so I did. <laughs> also for her room she asked me to get a cushion and um, so I got this super soft fluffy um, cushion cover because I already have a spare cushion that this can go on. So this is the Gulklocka. So this is a 50 by 50 cushion cover and it's got this super super soft um, kind of pattern on it. Um, I went with grey because I didn't know what pattern she liked. I, there was like 101 different kinds of cushion covers and I had no idea which one to pick. Um, but this one was nice and soft and everyone likes the soft cushion and grey goes with almost everything. Um, so no matter what bed covers, grey will go um, and I thought that'd be really nice um, and comfy to sleep on. So I got that one. For her and her family for moving into their new house, I also got this little trio because there's three of them, her, her dad and her brother. Um, so I got this little trio of cacti which I thought would be really cute and yeah I just thought that they were really adorable and would be like a nice little addition to their new house. Um, and they've got these little white pots that they come in as well. So yeah, and it's got the care instructions on the plants as well, which is really helpful. The next thing I picked up are actually for my animals. So I have guinea pigs and rats at the moment, and I normally use fleece bedding for them because um, it's softer, nicer on their paws, and much easier to clean, more environmentally friendly because you just wash it. Um, so I just got some new ones because their old ones are getting a bit bedraggled and they really do need replaced. So I got the Polar Vide in red, got two of those. They're very cheap 
very cheap and cheerful. They're quite big, they're 130 by 170. Um, I've had these fleeces before for my animals um, and it's something that I buy relatively often for them. So yep, yeah, just got these because they're nice and red is a nice warm colour. So I got those. The next thing I bought is for Arlo, um, but let's face it, it's more for me. I found this lunchbox, this child's lunchbox that looks like a dog and its ears are the clips to the sides. So cool, so cool. I love this thing. And then when you open it up, it's got like the space for your food and things like that. And I thought this would be really cute for like if we ever go on a day trip or go on holiday with Arlo and we can like keep his stuff and his food. And then when you get to wherever you're going, you can use it as a water bowl or a food bowl. I just thought that this was really, really cute. And I really like lots of organization boxes. I have a lot of organization boxes. Um, and I have a lot of things that I need organised. So I thought that this would be really cute for Arlo and just looks like a little dog and it's so cute. I just loved it. Next thing I've picked up is some lampshades for my own house because I still haven't got lampshades for my own house. Um, I just got some really cheap and cheerful paper lampshades. I think I will put these ones in the bedrooms just to give a softer light. But yeah, these are super cheap and cheerful. These are the Regolite. I feel like everyone who's a student will have had these lampshades because they are cheap and cover the light bulb. I'm excited to put these up and finally cover my really bright bulbs in my living room especially and the bedrooms. <laughs> Next I got some kitchenware. So I recently managed to break a pair of my scissors. One of the screws came out of it and the other side of it was completely lost. So I don't know what happened. So I just picked up another pair of scissors. I mean you can never really have enough. They always go missing. So I just got another pack of scissors. And um, I also managed to break a wooden spoon. Um, I managed to crack a wooden spoon all the way down the middle <laughs> um, by trying to get ice out of an ice box by hitting the ice tray um, and split the spoon in half. So I just picked up a very cheap and cheerful new wooden spoon because um, again it's one of those things that you just can't can't live without. Finally I got a muffin tray or a cupcake tray whatever you want to call it um, because the amount of times I've gone to make cupcakes which is one of the only things I can really bake um, and remember that I don't actually own a cupcake tray um, is too many so I saw this remembered all those times that I couldn't make cupcakes and bought myself a cupcake tray finally whilst in the homeware section I also wanted to buy a new duvet set because I have an issue buying duvet sets um, I definitely don't need any more I think I could have a different duvet set for every day of the week and still have spares um, but I just can't help it you're, you're never gonna not use them um, so I found this one which is a blue kind of tartan or plaid whatever you want to call it and it is this kind of brushed cotton so super super soft this is gonna be amazing when it starts getting a little bit colder. They also had matching lampshades which were on sale at the moment which if my room was like a dark blue or red theme I definitely would have gone with because I do love the traditionality of the plaid and the tartan kind of theme but yeah I just love this. I thought it looked really nice and cosy and you'd feel nice and cosy in it so I can't wait to wear to not to wear this for my bed to wear this. <laughs> Whenever I'm at Ikea I also pick up some really boring essentials like batteries. Again another thing you just never run out of. Yeah I just got some double A's and triple A's um, because you can never have too many batteries because you never know when you're going to need them. <laughs> so I just picked up another pack of those. I also got another ice tray. This is a silicon one so hopefully I won't have to bang it with my broken spoon. I have one of these in the fish shape so I got some in the star shape. I have a hard plastic ice cube tray which is the one I was hitting with the wooden spoon uh, which is really difficult to get ice out of whereas these silicony ones is much easier to get the ice cubes out of even though the ice cubes are a bit smaller. Another really boring thing I got, wooden hangers. I just think they're so pretty. I like wooden hangers and I have far too many clothes. As we all know, I have an issue with buying too many clothes. So I can always use more hangers for things. I always find myself like doubling up things on hangers of like similar things. So like I have all my like 
plaid shirts on one hanger and things like that. So it would be better if they all had individual hangers. So there we go, a new pack of hangers. So exciting. <laughs> I was also sent on a mission by Emma, who you all know and love, to find a mortar and pestle and a watering can and I can say that I managed to find both. It took a while to find the mortar and pestle but I did it eventually and Jesus, she's a heavy boy. She's a strong boy. And I also found this really cute watering can in this kind of like salmon coral pink colour. The mortar and pestle is Adelstein and it looks like this on the back. And then this is the watering can. Um, I don't think it has a name on it but yeah it also has a little extension for this bit which has the like shower head um, which is nice as well. Um, she said she wanted a big one so we got a big one. <laughs> and of course you can never go to Ikea without buying way too many candles so I bought three packs of tea light candles. I got raspberry smell, I got vanilla smell, and I also got peach smell. I've been really loving the peach smell ones. I had a pack and I think I've gone through all of them now. I've been really loving these over the past few weeks. Vanilla is a solid favourite in my favourite smells so I always buy a pack of the vanilla ones because they just smell so good. The raspberry ones were just really nice and fruity and I really like these. I might give these to Ivana to go with the red themed stuff <laughs> I bought for her bedroom. I also got a couple of their new candle in glass jars so I have one that's rhubarb um, this is the issue with Ikea candles is they don't actually say what flavour they are. You just have to guess from the picture. <laughs> so this one's definitely rhubarb and it smells like rhubarb yoghurt. If you've ever had rhubarb yoghurt, it smells exactly like that. Which is a very odd candle smell, but I really like it. <laughs> then we also have two miscellaneous green stuff smells. Um, this one's kind of like almost limey. Um, it's quite a light, clean green smell. This one smells kind of like like a curry green smell. Um, I'm not very good at describing smells. Um, but these are the pictures if anyone wants to have a guess. This one definitely smells like a garden whereas this one smells kind of like a bathroom product kind of smell like very clean and this one's kind of more earthy. And then finally I got a cherry. I know what a cherry looks like and it smells like cherries. Um, and I love cherry smell too. So I got this one as well. I also got a massive candle, which I don't normally do. I don't normally buy the big candles or to be honest, the ones in the small jars. Um, I prefer tea lights, but I couldn't resist this cinnamon vanilla smelling one. It just smells so good. It's so sweet but it's got the hint of cinnamon in it and it just smells really really yummy and I can't wait to burn this one. They also had a sale on and um, so they had these little really cute red heart candles and apparently they float in water and these were 25 pence each. I don't remember the price of anything else but I remember that these were only 25 pence each. So I got four packs <laughs> because why wouldn't you? They're 25 pence and it's not like candles go out. So whether I'm going to use these in the bath and make them float on the water, probably not because that sounds like a fire hazard with my long hair. Of course, you can't go to Ikea and not pick up some Swedish treats. Um, so I had to pick up my favourite cinnamon swirl snacks which they've also started doing in Asda so I actually already have a pack of these in my cupboard and um, but whenever I see them I have to pick up a pack because they're just amazing and they taste fantastic and possibly the closest thing to Cinnabon I will get in this country anymore so definitely have to buy these. Also buy a big extra extra large pack of dime treats. Kind of sad that they're all individually wrapped but it does mean that I can like put them in a little bowl on my coffee table and make it look like I'm a proper hostess that has chocolate treats all the time in her living room. I also picked up some tea which I've never done from Ikea, I've never tried their tea but I picked up some white and green tea with cherry blossom flower which sounds really nice so I'm gonna try that and then I also picked up some loose tea which is black chai with ginger and elderberries so and I love chai tea, we all know I love chai tea and of course I got a jar of lingonberry jam. No idea what I'm gonna use this for, maybe with some cheese and crackers but I love it, I just I love it. 
obviously I had the veggie meatballs with the lingonberry jam and mashed potato, best thing ever. And then finally, as we reached the end, I finally found a replacement photo holder thing. So I bought a couple of these a few years ago to obviously put photographs in um, and then because it's been moved a handful of times and um, there was a crack in the top section and it was fine just annoying not very pretty to look at but it's only me that lives here so <laughs> it doesn't really matter and then one day the crack had clearly been put under too much pressure from being hung up and it just completely snapped so yeah so I've just had a, this sat on the floor until I've got been able to get a replacement so now I have a replacement I am kind of sad obviously it's made of plastic so it's gonna have to go in the landfill the previous one which annoys me because I hate waste um, but it doesn't hang on the wall anymore so I can't really do anything else with it apart from put it in the bin and then as we were leaving you have to have a little look around bargain corner just in case you see anything interesting and they did have a really, really nice green, velvet, emerald coloured armchair for £150. I was very tempted. No idea where I would put it in this room. My living room is quite small and I'm already kind of running out of space in my living room. But I am very tempted to go back tomorrow and just buy it. Don't know how I would get it home, but yeah <laughs> regardless i didn't buy the armchair but i did find some other nice lampshades so this box is gonna look like absolutely nothing and um, so basically the shape looks like this it's this kind of like green fabric if you can see that they had these in a long time ago so i think these must have been like the display ones or perhaps the last ones in stock and they were 10 pounds down from 25 i think the other one had the proper price and um, down from yeah, I think they were down from 25, but one of them was marked at 10 and one of them was marked at 16. And because I was buying both of them, she just gave them both to me for 10 because one of them was advertised at 10. These ones I'll probably put in this room because they look a bit fancier and I'll put the paper ones in the bedroom to replace the really small, horrible <laughs> lampshades that are there at the moment. And the final thing I got in Ikea was this guy is a triceratops and he is adorable. They always have such cute teddy bears in Ikea. They had the big massive brown bear. I was very tempted by the big massive brown bear. I can't resist a triceratops. So I had to have him. Don't know where he's gonna go because I'm running out of room but I love him. Okay so moving on to Costco we had just enough time after going to Ikea to pop into Costco. Like I said, my friend has a Costco card. I don't have one. So I hadn't been to Costco in years. Um, and oh my God, I would spend so much. I did spend so much money, but I would spend so much more money in that shop if I had a membership card. I would literally go bankrupt. So yes, in Costco, I picked up a few things. I don't know what I picked up first, but I will pick up the first thing I can see, which is a massive jar of Bon Maman jam. If anyone eats toast, and likes jam. Bon Maman jam is amazing. It is French. It is beautiful. I get the raspberry conserve. I really like it when you go to a really posh hotel and they've got like the little baby Bon Maman which are like this size. You can take the little glass jar home. So cute. So I got a massive jar of that because the only thing I ever really have in my house for, for toast is like peanut butter, Nutella. I felt like I should have something maybe slightly healthier. <laughs> and speaking of Nutella on toast. I did also get a massive jar of Nutella because it's so cheap. It was like three pounds for a massive jar. And I mean, this is this is one 1,000 grams. I also got a massive jug of maple syrup because again, it's not really something that goes out of date very quickly. And I use it on pancakes when I make pancakes with bacon and maple syrup. I also got some seasoning for Ivana when she comes to cook. So she uses the all seasoning, season all, whatever you want to call this, quite a lot in her dishes. So <laughs> I got a massive one of that because again, it's not like it goes off. This is 840 grams. Look how big it is compared to like what you normally get. I'm, I'm just so in awe 
at Costco. The size of everything. It just makes me feel like I'm in America. Everything's so big. Also with the seasoning, she'd also been looking for some Himalaya rock salt or pink salt and it's all quite expensive. I got this for £3.50 I think and it is the grinder and an extra refill. Next we also found the fruit aisle and I don't really buy fruit that often because I always forget about it and it goes off and then it's just no point but I saw they had rambutan and I don't think I've ever had rambutan so I'm very excited to eat this and Ivana was very excited that they had rambutan and um, so she was like you have to buy that you have to buy that. Along with that I got a massive bag of dried mango which Ivana also told me to buy because she loves dried mango and for my mum because I'm going to go and see her next week I got some um, dates um, which she absolutely loves. These don't really go off until January so they will be fine for next week. The next couple of things are like boxes or like multi-packs of things. So I saw this box of pot noodles which I don't really eat because I don't really like instant noodles that much but again I knew that Ivana liked instant noodles and this was like a box of six for like four pounds or something. I also got a four pack of fajita kits. Now I know what you're thinking it's cheaper to buy the individual things and you know what you're probably right and these are the smart smoky barbecue flavor which is my favorite and it comes with the tortillas the seasoning mix and the salsa we don't normally use the salsa so I have a collection <laughs> of salsa packets and they're vegan in case you were wondering so you could cook them vegan another thing I got which I'm going to attempt to make is a rainbow cake mix it is my brother's 18th birthday in two weeks time. It is very unfortunate that his 18th birthday is also the year that a global pandemic decided to happen. I'm not a very good chef and I'm not a very good baker. I'm a better baker than I am a chef. So I'm gonna attempt to make a rainbow cake for his birthday. He's coming over to my house and we're gonna go and get a drink in a gay bar even if we can't go out. We're gonna go get a drink um, and I will make a cake for our return to the house. The last food item for myself that I bought <laughs> 101 Jaffa cakes. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about it. I have a lot of Jaffa cakes to get through and again they're not really something that go off. So 180 Jaffa cakes for like four pounds wasn't gonna say no to that. The last box of things I got isn't for me, it's actually for my rats, is a 12 pack of Dreamies, um, which they like to eat in their food mix. Not very exciting unless you're into animals like I am. I sprinkled this in with their food mix um, because rats are omnivorous and eat anything basically and they really like a bit of protein in their diet. The next couple of things I bought are actually clothing items which I didn't expect to be buying in Costco. The first thing I saw and thought that looks amazing, a swimming costume. When are we next going to be going on holiday Heather? Who knows? When are we next going to be going on holiday to somewhere warm enough to wear a swimming costume? Who knows? Is it going to stop me buying sewing costume? No. Rainbow leopard print. A rainbow leopard print swimming costume. Now, can we take a moment to read the label? Speedo Junior. I bought a child's swimming costume, but I don't know if it's just me, but this looks like quite a big child's swimming costume. It's a 13 to 14 year old swimming costume. It still has stretch even even when it's been stretched on this peg. And you know, I'm not exactly very curvaceous. I'm pretty sure this will fit. Obviously you can't try things on in Costco. If it doesn't fit, it was three pounds. <laughs> three pounds for a swimming costume. A proper speedo swimming costume as well. So I'm very happy with my purchase. Um, and I'm gonna go and try it on with my new shorts, which I also bought. These are size eight, which again, might be slightly too big for me because I'm normally size six, because I've got a quite a small waist. And these are DKNY jeans, so they're like a proper brand. Um, and these were six pounds. I'd been looking for some like slightly longer shorts 
instead of like kind of short shorts. <laughs> and of course, to complete my summer look, I got a summer hat. <laughs> because again, when am I next going to be going somewhere that's sunny enough to wear a hat? Who knows? But did I buy a hat? I did buy a hat. I've been spending all of lockdown without a nice sun hat. This one apparently um, has 50 plus sun protection. Although I put it on as a joke in the shop, um, when I actually took a picture of myself to look at myself, I actually really liked it and I thought it really suited me. So, <laughs> so I bought the hat and it's actually really kind of sturdy around the rim um, because I did have another summer hat which I looked out when it was really sunny over lockdown and because it's been moved in a box so many times its sides had gone really floppy um, so I had to put it to charity because it just was there was no saving it there was no saving it and the final thing I purchased was a box of bowls because what else do you need in life than more bowls these were actually the first thing I saw in the shop and went do I need more bowls not necessarily are they really cute and colorful and I want them on my shelf? Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, so I bought some four stoneware bowls in multicolors. Um, green, yellow, blue, and orangey red. I thought that they would be amazing for like pasta dish or even like a curry dish, just because they've got like a quite a short rim, like so easier than plates so it doesn't run away, but not quite a bowl, so spread out a bit more. <sighs> The pedantics behind buying bowls guys it's it's too much and that is everything that is everything i bought i bought a lot of stuff i'm now surrounded by homeware and food and i'm not mad my bank account on the other hand is raging <laughs> it is raging at me because i have spent a lot of money i think being cooped up for three months not spending any money really has kind of made me come out of lockdown and gone let's spend all the money and um, which is really unhelpful but do you know what I don't think I necessarily bought anything completely unnecessary maybe maybe the triceratops so that is everything I bought like I said I bought everything with my own money this was a very massive haul from Ikea and Costco if you have any questions about anything I bought or either of the shops do just comment below and I will try and answer the best I can and I hope you enjoyed this video I know it was quite different from what I normally do but I love Ikea and I love Costco and I love a bit of homeware so I hope you guys also enjoyed I hope you have a lovely afternoon evening morning wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time